After several weeks of delays, 49 contestants arrive at a parking lot in Austin, Texas to participate in Ice Poseidon's Hunger Games. They await a bus that will take them two hours away to a 100-acre ranch full of black widow spiders, five-foot-long snakes, and 110-degree days. The contestants will wear contact-sensitive vests to track their 100 health points. Those who die will be taken to a gulag to participate in a duel for the chance to return to the game. If they get bit by something poisonous, they also die. But, like in real life also, the last player alive wins $100,000. I assume if you're consuming this competition on this channel, then you're familiar with fish tanks, so I'm not going to explain who John and Letty are. And I'll say that if you want a general coverage recap, there's several other channels that made those. This is going to be a fish tank point of view, so I won't be covering moments unrelated to John and Letty's time in the game. And I'll stop to give background information on any players John and Letty come across because you may not know them. As to CX, the host, Ice Poseidon, was the guy at the start of IRL streaming and regularly hosts live reality show style events similar to this one. The 47 other contestants have lore of their own, but I'll only fill you in as needed. All you need to know for now is that, when comparing John and Letty to all the other contestants, Fish Tank is a well-kept private school, and these IRL streamers would be from juvenile detention or federal prison. The competitors had to be patted down for contraband before boarding the bus. A streamer who I'll get into later named Chicken Andy tried to bring mace and had it confiscated. Another guy had a real gun, just so you understand. Some more context. Fish tank representation is a small drop in this event. While some contestants might know the names of the fish, few of the contestants recognize them. Slightly homeless, real name River, is a streamer who tried to riz up Letty before the event. It's like if you were to realistically wear a blindfold, you wouldn't know if you're smashing like an 80 year old man or like a fucking like 25 year old. If they have the same body type. I mean, I, I probably. Wait, you have the body type of an 80 year old man? No, I'm just saying, like. Uh, no, 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 I don't. I'm just saying, like, I don't I know. Feel I, like, I feel like the more you talk, the lower your chances go. So maybe. Yeah. Don't talk so much. While waiting in the parking lot, someone said another player named Ja Villy's name is Jimmy. And Homeless assumed he was that Jimmy from Fish Tank. Um, You're Gooner, right? What up, bro? I'm Gary. That's what you're yeah. Anybody got like so, you? Gooner, Gooner, you don't like me? No, I don't like you. Look at you. What's wrong with me? Just, you, everything about yes. you is bald. We look, we look similar. You have a ball? If you put me in a But we we look similar. I mean, if I'm staying away from you, that means you're staying away from me, which works to my benefit. I just have to wait for you to die. Shut up. No. Yeah. Are you the cop rev guy? Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Jimmy. What the fuck? Jimmy? Man? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm a professional gamer. Okay? I don't go to clubs. It was one of you fish tank guys. Like a little weirdo. Like yeah. Or World of Warcraft. Oh, same thing. <laughs> Ice Poseidon had to find John to finalize his paperwork and didn't remember who he was. Since Letty didn't have her stream set up during the wait, anyone who ever sat near her or pointed their cameras in her direction got a boost in viewers demanding them to point their cameras at her, even though they didn't know who she was. It's a mixed impact. Fish tank is not all that significant in this event. Don't get any weird ideas. It's over. Before loading everyone onto the bus, Letty and John escaped the heat in a car with some orbiter named Gavin. We did this thing with Gavin where like, um, yeah. they took him to 6th Street and we tried to get him to like, interact with the girl for more than minutes. That's and he just put it like, this did not happen. I well, talked to that one girl shy in for like Have you minutes. considered that he might be gay? I mean, That's what I actually don't like thought. So we, I think he is bisexual. Yeah, but it's yeah. okay. Uh, that's possible, but I don't think so. Are yeah. you a porn addict? Yeah, but you're right. <laughs> Why are you a virgin? That's such a difficult question. I Were you just not interested? Like, did you watch too much porn? If there's oh, there any yeah. older like women out there that want to have sex with him, he's a virgin. Yeah. Wait, that? actually, I do think you oh, are hey. gay. Because uh, earlier, huh? I said something and you said that was a read. And read is gay slang. Is it? Oh, I'm yeah, cracking yeah. the case. I think he's gay. Huh? Do you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? I have. Hesitated a little bit. Someone said you guys have cute chemistry. 
He doesn't know what to say. He's, <laughs> do you hear how nervous his laugh is? They're saying Gavin. She is the one. <laughs> that was so. Why is that stare so intense? Do you like uh? Do you like fat boys? Yeah. Yeah. Or do you like more like animal type creatures like um, horses and ponies? I'm okay with fat boys. Okay. Would you be a fat boy? Would you become a, like a fat boy? I could do like drag without it like fucking with my sexuality. Are you more into horses, ponies, horses dogs? Very similar. Dogs. I like kangaroos. No, I mean for like sexual. Oh. Kangaroos? <laughs> no. Walk in that bag. He walk admitted that, bag. that he likes kangaroos. Hold on, I'm walking that bag. John briefly went live, long enough for everyone to discover that every variant of the word gay has been censored in his chat. He was quiet during the entire bus onboarding process, but the fish tank audience still managed to make themselves heard via Chicken Andy's stream alerts. What up, man? How you guys doing? Oh, excuse me. Ready? Oh, sit down. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going. I'm moving. Jesus. I mean, my bad. I apologize. Jesus. Put your fucking feet. Put your feet. I forget they're all kind of about this. Here's your backstory on chicken. He is not the only guy on the bus who does meth, but he is one of them. He is best known for his appearance on his cross-country RV streams, where he got into bum fights every day, did whippets, slapped women, and was Andy Dick's boyfriend. Chicken! 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 That's chicken for you in short. Most people in the competition know him, even if, maybe, you don't. Which is why it's funny that John and Letty sat behind him by accident when Homeless, another obnoxious streamer named DBR, and a fat idiot I'll introduce later, chose seats around him to get his attention. Naturally, as soon as the bus got underway, the three began fighting, which activated Letty. Oh, yeah. You will do what? I will sleep. You want to get banned before we start? Where do I fucking put my bag? Bro, figure it out. Put your fucking... Dude, we have the same fucking bag, dude. Why is mine so much bigger? Dude, you're weak as shit, man. Like, fuck. Are you Holy strong? fuck, it's God. Are you strong? Yeah, dude, I'm drunk as fuck, man. I'm gonna fucking rage on you right now. I'm about to fucking start going. Rage, calm down. It's I'm about to throw some fucking It's gonna be alright. Get back to the RV. Yeah, yeah. I got PTSD from RVs. You think back to doing meth on the RV, buddy? Yeah, fuck yeah. I smoke meth right now. Yeah, you can, actually. Yeah. Yeah, if you would like some water, you can. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, who's this, uh, your friend here? Yeah. John. John. He, are you guys dating? No. Yeah, but you guys are going to be together forever. Like, during the competition. Are you teaming up? They didn't tell me I couldn't have it. There you go. You can open your mouth, I'll dump it in. If you want, I... No, no, if you want, I can pour it in your mouth. I can, I can pour it in your mouth if you want. So you don't want water. I'm, you're not supposed to have that water. What is that? You think I would drink alcohol like that? What is that? I, it I can literally smell it from here. It kind of does smell like alcohol. Yo, is that vodka? There's no vodka. Yeah, I'm really thirsty. Look, look, my lips are a bit dry. Like, no, my lips are actually like, dry. I really need some water right now. Yeah, I'm really thirsty. Why don't you ask um, homeless? No, I want, I want to I want your one. I want no, your water, no. Letty. I don't have any water. I really need I'm water, Letty. I'm out of water. I just really need water. I just ran just, out. You're actually out of luck because I just, just ran out of water. Yeah. Like, well, what we can do is, what else have you got in your bag? And I'll give you some water and you give me something from your bag. Okay. That's crazy. I have an MRE. 
trade. Yeah, let's swap. I don't want to trade. No, I'm I'll not give trading. you some oh, water. Go back to fighting. I'll That's give you a little bit of water. Go back to fighting. <laughs> you look like you're wearing eyeliner. I, I am. Okay. Yeah. One last reminder what CX is like before I stop bringing it up. What's going on, DBR? What are you, what are you Did you molest at? a child in Nepal? Um, is there any evidence, Shah, of this, uh, uh, this, 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 there's a clip? Let's go watch the clip. Mm. No, Shah, I'd just like to, everyone, I'd like to let you know this guy has molested a child in Nepal. He molested a child in Nepal. He molested a child in Nepal. He, uh, I think make it hey, like that you mean that I molested a child. Did you molest a child? Yes, he did in the poll. Hey, look, he is in the poll. He's saying it happened. Like, why is he defending himself? No, it's, he's just saying I molested no, instead of explaining himself. Staff, the kid staff look into it. And how old was the child? Molested a matter? child, by the way. I'm yeah. not even saying that. <laughs> I did not molest a child in the poll. Did you get arrested for trying to marry a 14 year old? Yes. That is not how it happened. Yep. That's the one I'm talking about. Thank you. In Nepal. He tried to marry a child. Someone told me to ask you something. What? Will the candy man make an appearance? No. <laughs> Who's the candy man? Will the candy man make an appearance? Who's the candy man? You gotta update me. I don't know about all this stuff. It's a guy who really loves candy and he's like, yummy candy. I love candy too. I love candy. Wow. John decided to lecture Home Wes and DB Aw about degeneracy because Day had been talking about Home Wes's pedo allegations and DB Aw stabbing someone since Dub Bus Weft. He's saying I keep stabbing people. I've never stabbed anyone. You literally been arrested for fucking trying to marry a child. The fuck? Jesus Christ. Didn't you stab like a 12 year old and then rape her? I heard that allegedly. Bro, the angles you got, you take aren't even like you smart angles. Stab that's sick, bro. You got a sick mind, bro. Yo, you got... quick question for both of you guys. What's up, Do you guys bro? believe in God? I believe in God, yes, I sir. No? So if you believe in God, just, just drop this conversation. I'm and trying, bro. Every time, get... I, every time he just keeps coming, he's like, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Should I, should I just be the be bigger man right now? Yeah, I'm not involved. Okay, yes, yes, I will, I will be Look the bigger stuff. man. Look at this, you guys are promoting right now. You guys are promoting to generate. Mm -hmm. That's how. Mm -hmm. You yes, shouldn't John. be doing that. Yes, sir. Are you on fish tank? So what? Sam Hag's the oh, biggest yes. degenerate on the internet. He's oh, yes. Doesn't mean I am. Oh, yes, please. Doesn't mean I am. Oh, press and I brought a lot of, I brought a lot of people back yes. to the faith with Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm now, either way. Drop that degeneracy. Yes, sir. Not cool. Yes, sir. No, no, one's free, no one likes it, bro. Well, exactly. You hear him? Just chill. Enjoy you yourself, my point. guy. You should stop being a degenerate. Hold up. So you believe in nothing? Yeah. Okay. So you believe nothing created this, right? There could be a simulation. So, but, so you believe a computer created this now? This is possible. <laughs> okay, well, why? So if you believe nothing or a computer created this, why can't you believe in an all powerful living creature? As God can create this net. I said, why should we worship him? No, no, you said you don't believe in it, but how could, why do you believe in something that's nothing to create all of this, but you don't believe in God who could create something? Well, how does why does that make sense? Well, let me ask you, if a computer programmer made a programmer, should you worship the programmer? I'm sure there's a lot of Christian fans, I'm not trying to trigger anyone. But you're tricking a lot of people by talking all kinds of degeneracy. <laughs> you're a part of the did the, the CX network, bro. Who? You're part of CX and Sam Hyde's network, bro. Stop talking about degeneracy. Well, just because I do something doesn't mean I'm a part of it. Like, I'm just on here to win money. Yes, sir. To help the non-profits I work with. That's all I'm doing here. Okay. Okay. Let's see this. What? Let's see this. Oh, I know what's here. When the bus arrived at the cornucopia. Shit. Oh shit, <laughs> John offered to whore Letty out for supplies. So we give you a kiss, we give her all your stuff in his bag. No, I, no, you can't. You're selling her mouth. <laughs> He's selling. You're selling her mouth. <laughs> everything, no, everything you have, up. everything you have. For a kiss with her. If she I'm makes out with me right now, one yes. kiss on the cheek. No. no. If she makes out with me, I'll give one her everything. One kiss on the cheek for everything you got. If she makes out with me, I'll, I'll give her everything. John, you're a great businessman. Smart businessman. Listen. When what happened to being a man of God? Now you're pimping. Give me a kiss on the cheek. Are you a man of God? Everything you have. 
for everything you no, have. If she, makes out, if she makes out with me for a minute straight. Oh. Just before leaving the bus, DBR and Letty tag team to steal all of Homeless's supplies. I want to see you again. Yes, of course. Come on, I Oh, there's a bathroom in the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a bathroom in the back. If you can shh, open this bag for me. Open it, open it. Just pour everything out. I need the bag. Oh, record me, please. I love you, chicken. My fucking darling chicken. Did you take his food? Nah, I just took his bag. I need his bag. Take his food. No, 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 the food's there. Go, 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 go. I'm going to take his chair. Fuck you. Go, go, go. Thank you, chicken. I love you. I'm filming, I'm filming. Yeah, the food. I need the bag. I need the bag. I needed the bag. I needed the bag, man. I don't care. Jack. <laughs> Jack. When Homeless complained to production that Letty stole it, Ice said, you should have held on to it. Bus full of annoying Uh, yeah, and some. Go to the top left. Okay, anyway. Guys, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, there is a bunch of annoying people here. As John was leaving the bus, a fellow contestant recognized him, and John admitted the reason he has been hiding his, his face with a bawa quava. I was trying to uh, a video of you and what's his name up in Dallas? Oh, me and Stein? Yeah, bro, that was so funny. Oh, dude, that shit was fun. Yeah, no, he's really helping me out right now because I'm waiting for city council back home. That's part of the reason why I'm wearing this on the on heel. I'm not trying to get my face on this. Yeah. Before the game even started, the vests were acting up. Just before the start of the games, Letty lost a life sitting down in the golf cart to take her to the cornucopia. Actually, facts. Every fishing fan, this every fan that's watching me or Letty, guys, you guys could do uh, kill practices. So keep that in mind because one give me or Letty kill practices, send that shit in. All day. He's put the John Tank guys. 40 boys, quote, hashtag 40 boys, guys. There's a reason why I'm here. And, I'm, and there's a reason why I'm here. And not Jimmy, Vance, uh, uh, that uh, tall Hawaiian guy that's kind of fat, uh, Mario, I think. Oh, Daniel. There's a reason why I'm here. And not the other contestants, guys. Let us here because I fucking put a good world man for home. So she could, she could fucking say thank you for that. But besides that, no one else got the opportunity. No one else even tried. I did. So, don't forget, guys. I'm here to make the content, the John 10, for you guys. I'm going to do good at it. I'm not going to stop. And immediately after this, I'm going to City Hall. And I got a couple of the big TV shows I got going right after this, guys. A couple of big fucking TV shows that accepted me. So, if you guys want to keep seeing everything I do, you guys want to support my message? My message is to bring Christian values back to the States, guys. I want to bring Jesus Christ back in every home. The Christian order is the way. We need Christian values back in this country, guys. We need Christian values back in every family. We need Christian values back in every house, every city, every town, every state. We need to bring that shit back. We need to bring it back ASAP, guys. While all players formed a circle, Homeless vowed revenge on Letty and began to warn other players about Letty and her two Sam Hyde guys, that being John and this random person who he still thought was Jimmy. The start of the game is scuffed. John is instantly winded by his bawa quava and must take his brilliant disguise off. On the starting gun, John and Letty immediately join a large team of Marines that John had pre-planned to join before the game. Their new teammates, leader Double Duty, stay-at-home dad and beatboxer Dr. Beats, impatient Pigeon Vision, hostile ex-con Lone Wolf, and relatively friendly Marines J Money and T Steezy. John has apparently bonded with them over Discord because being a volunteer Fio Fido is Vui Samawa to being a Maween, I guess. I think Xavier would probably agree with that. One of their new teammates describes their team composition as a veteran team and two others. They immediately head for a hunting blind on the eastern edge of the map. A team of Koreans who flew out to participate all die elsewhere on the map because their vests were triggered by running, 
So everyone's lives are reset and players are warned that the vests are malfunctioning. DBR robs someone and using this same effect, takes a chunk out of the guy's lives by forcing them to run from him. Dr. Beats takes Wolf aside and recommends they cut out all the non-Marines. Bro, no, I didn't want to be in a big group like this because we get conjungle fucked, you know what I'm saying? That's hard. Hey, Ooh. I say you, me, J Money, and Double Duty. Later on, we bounce and we just make our own team. You know what I'm saying? Because that one girl, she's taking fucking way too long. Yeah, dude, she's, she's dead weight. Like, literally, like, fucking oxygen thief. Letty, what are you doing? Letty! Double time it! Double time it, no excuses! Letty still falls behind and out of sight, and Beats decides unilaterally that she is not part of the team. Fuck me. That we have two teams inbound on our position that's right now. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, like no, like they straight up are talking about coming and getting us. Well, maybe that's what happened to Letty. Get no, they're not gonna. Get Letty would have yelled or something. No, why did she? Why did Letty leave? Like, I think she's. I think she's in. Bro, like, she bro, we kind of knew. Like hey, as hey, we all agree as of right now, Letty is not in the team. Yeah, I mean, right? She's just, she's get some, uh, she she already knew right away that she was gonna peel off. Like, I think so. And well, she's, hold up, hold up. Why would she peel off if I have more stuff? Fuck him. No, I'm just saying, that wouldn't make sense. Bro, wait, wait, what if she's the imposter, bro? No, no, she's so just not. Uh, the, I just only bought her on because they, they wanted her to have sex with me. That's, no, I'm, I'm being serious. That's the only reason why they bought her on. Bro, that's... Well, why not, why not say anything, though? Because she was so far back. Maybe she didn't even couldn't heal. You could fucking yell, dude. Like... I'm just saying, there's wind, too. Is that her? She healed now. There we go. The when you're going to show up. Homeless is accidentally eliminated when tree branches hit his vest, and Ice announces that because the vests aren't working, he is considering discarding the vests and forcing the players to switch to white shirts and paintballs to track damage, before backing off from the idea for the moment. Beats tells the Marines that he wants them to use military tactics. If we get in a big combat, we need a safety word. We could be like, like, we... Like, where we say something and you have to respond with something, or you're an enemy. It could be really funny and go thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning, yeah. Hey, you guys hear that? Thunder and lightning. Players are not strictly barred from using their phones to communicate with friends. Already warned about Beats' earlier conversation with John, Letty asks John straight up if the Marines will betray her. This team isn't gonna... Like, That's what I had. I had a great smoothie day. I, I don't know. John talks to Jay Money. I don't think I met you yet. I'm John. Jay Money Day. Nice to meet you. What do you do? Or what did you do? Uh, like, for job or? Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah, I guess why you heal. Yeah, I just wanted to go to the field again. No, that sounds like fun. I'm not doing shit like this. Wait, well, you were the. You were the guy that, um. I know we did the uh, Marines. I did wildland fall fighting for him for years though. <laughs> yeah, and Brace that sucks. Letty corners John again because she knows word for word how Beats called her dead weight. But John, yeah. I heard that the wolf guy and the other guy were talking shit about me and saying I was dead weight. Ah, I did tweet that out. You control the action. You kind of all. This, that's just reality. Look. I literally, I gave you a battery and no, no, a cable. So, what they were pointing to is you slacking and you being super slow. This is why when I tell you double timer, I mean double timer. Well, you know I can't do as much as you guys can. It's literally all military and like you who work out. I know. You guys, I just got you. Okay? Well, I am. 
No, I'm not a junk slave, no. This is straight I'm just being honest with you. Well, there's reasons why I'm telling you. I just thought else. everyone was like, oh, yeah. like, we're not gonna betray anyone. It's not and about. it's gonna be like, it's gonna be all of us till the end. And it's then people are talking about that on the first day. No. No one's talked about killing you. They did talk about not trusting you because you fell back to the and they thought you ran off and you started working with someone else. Well, I wouldn't do that. They don't know that though. They don't know you. Okay. And why is my value to them only like... I mean, I guess I'm just sensitive because I'm thinking why is my value to them only what I can provide as a team member and not like That's the how trust. Okay I, like, how walk. Well, this I just... This is how dudes walk in general. I'm just being honest with you, I'm being straightforward so you know the facts, okay? So, if you want to become valuable... Well, I gave you, you I know, know I know. gave you stuff. Yes, I know, lady. Like... Uh, yes, lady, I know you did. I'm going to tell you what you need to do is make them see you valuable in their eyes, okay? Well, what am I supposed to do then? I'm about to tell you. First off, why not? You should fall behind. That's a bad look. You don't okay. do that in a group. Never. Okay? You don't want off or go anywhere without telling two people you should. That's one just... Nicest guys come around with t-shirts. Liddy is a perfect princess. Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to get these military guys to take me seriously, so maybe don't... <laughs> Homeless and DBR, both running solo, are surrounded by a large group and hide from them in the darkness, just 50 feet apart from each other. When DBR eventually dies and goes to the gulag, Homeless stays solo, with no weapons, starving in a bush because Letty stole his dinner. The Marines receive a rumor, not true, that Homeless has quit, and Letty tells them that was her doing. Already? Yeah, he talked about shit. The homeless probably gave up part of the reason because I took his food. <laughs> you took homeless food? Yeah, dude. No, he gave up. He was only here to make out with me, and I already said this no to him. About <laughs> we broke the Hunger Games. <laughs> we broke the Hunger Games. Yeah, dude, he needs to let us fucking get. But it's more entertaining if we talk. We weren't allowed to open the bag. Fucking entertaining. You know, it's entertaining. $100,000 in my bank. Somebody told me you have a cult following. Uh, me and John both do. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Because the show that we were on, um, the people that made it, they have a cult following. They were just kind of like transcribed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we there was new people too, obviously, but yeah, because it would people would be watching it 24/7 live, so you know. Beats lectures the team about trench foot, and tells Letty she will have to embrace the suck like he did during his three months of combat training if she wants to get through the Hunger Games. Letty's chat suggests attacking a solo player who passes by the team to the west, and Letty asks her teammates to hunt him and to loan her a sword. Beat says they shouldn't go, and asks her if it would make more sense for someone bigger to use the sword, and she says there's no point in her fighting without one and no one better to use it. Beats apologizes for questioning her when they eventually leave to find the solo player, but his vest malfunctions, and they must turn around. He tells John and Letty he's scared that he now only has an hour to fix the vest, so they give up the hunt. The other members of the Marines sleep, and Beats stays up to troubleshoot his vest and take first watch, with Letty. Because he's therefore a captive audience, Letty tells him his name is Zoltar. Have a weird name. You don't like it? It's not that I don't like it, it's just weird. I mean, it's like, I guess it's like you're playing D&D &D or something, that's pretty cool. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I'm a D&D &D nerd. I like Dungeons and Dragons. What's your class in D&D? &D? I usually like to go bard because I'm a beatboxer. You can beatbox? That's why my name's Beats. Wait, I want to see, I want to hear no, not, some beatboxing. Not right now. I think oh, there's, look at that, look at that. What the heck is that thing? What is what? that thing? What is that? What? Where, oh my god, look at that giant spider. Kill it. Look, the look fuck? at it. What the heck? Hey, that's what a brown that? recluse. If it bites what you, what is that? Can you get it, please? Can Girl, you, you need it? a grow pair. Just get step that. on it. 
Put I, your foot. I don't have my shoes on. You can. You have a whole set. Take the shoe up. Letty, you got to take care of this stuff. There's some things in life that you need to learn, and this is a dad teaching moment. Yeah, kill that spider. Well, it already started crawling towards that, him. Twist that spider's so. dick. I think you have to get it. It started crawling towards right him. Letty, this is a growing moment. Where is it right now? Fatherless behavior. Yeah, you need to fucking, you need to fucking hit that fucking spider. Grab that fucking boot. Grab that fucking boot. Lenny, grab the boot. Grab the fucking boot, Lenny. Honey, you would die in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, I'm scared. Lenny. Wait, I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up. Well, did you try to throw that spider at me? Yeah, but it ran away. this isn't fucking the Marvel movies. I'm not gonna get powers. Stop. Lenny, I can't believe you tried throwing a spider at me. Yeah, That's like actually like. You told me to think of you as my dad. Maybe you took the bird. Lenny, apparently I have to call you a bonehead. Okay. I don't know what that means. Can you do a baby voice? A baby voice? I'm really good with impressions. Yeah, can you do an impression of like a little baby? Wow. <laughs> 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 That's like a creepy baby. Baby <laughs> voice. <laughs> You it's little like pig squirrel. Stewie, if he was like straight and like like a straight <laughs> sex pest. Hey, smoke man, thanks for the ball. Grab the shoes. They're down there. Yeah, John ran away. He quit. That's better. better. <laughs> John quit. <laughs> John's up in a tree right now. Yes. Yeah, right. Right. Hey, that that yeah, John got bit by a rattlesnake, and he's he's trying to get the venom out. He's not telling Ice. He wants to stay in the game. Yep, just a rattlesnake on his leg. Yep, John, I have no idea if one is Jewish. John has passed away. Bro, I feel like this is like like being the third wheel at a, at a fucking. Shut the fuck up! I have not passed away. <laughs> I didn't notice you. Were, how did you get here so fast? Stop telling people I died. <laughs> a team led by an MMA fighter named Florida Boy approaches from the south, but keeps distance from the Marines. Doctor Beats decides this is the time to attack compared to before, when it was just one guy who Letty wanted to catch. Because Letty wasn't ready fast enough this time, the Marines get together and say they're ready to cut Letty out, and that they're in the game to feel like Marines again, that they want to fuck people up, and want to prove something to the players who are there to be funny or mess around, and stand around saying, Semper Fi. You mess with the bull, you get the horns, Letty. Beat's bold plan is to bait the team out alone, but they don't pursue him. So he wanders back to the Marines who are standing in a gay little conga line in a bush, which he calls nut to butt, and says it's Letty's fault the plan didn't work because her light was visible. Semper Fi and shit, man. That means always faithful, because they're Marines. Hell yeah. Beats admits to Wolf, way above a whisper and barely coded, that every chat he's been getting has been about killing her, and he's been really thinking of it because his viewers are considering paying him to. Letty interrupts and asks, using basic context, why he would kill her. The Marines accuse her of killing the Vibe, and she says they were the ones saying to take the game seriously. Literally I don't nothing. know. I feel like you look down on me, honestly. I don't look down on you. I'm just really focused on winning. It has nothing to do with you whatsoever, Lenny. I think you're a great person. I mean, you're here. You're one of 50 <laughs> people. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot to be here. Is that what you would say if... I wasn't here. Is that like what you would say to someone else, though? Or if you weren't you here, I wouldn't know you. Different. No, I mean, like, if I wasn't here right now, if I was somewhere else. Well, if somebody else was like, you know, saying the same thing you were and doubting themselves and doubting me, like, you know, yeah, I would say the same thing because we're all in this together. You're part of my team. You know what I mean? No, I mean, would you talk shit if I wasn't here? Would you be saying the same thing if I wasn't here right now? All I said, like I said to you earlier, like I told you, like Lenny, like maybe like give him a weapon because you're kind of small. You're not a big person, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just physics, you know what I'm saying? Okay, because I mean, if there's anything that you want to like talk about with me, I would say just say it to my face and don't say it behind my back. Put a pin in this conversation for now. Yeah. Exactly. Look, Lenny, I was just being 100% well, honest with you, what you know? Would you, how would you react if you learned that two members of I the group were saying that about you? I've been to yeah. fucking prison. I wouldn't give a shit. I'm 37 years old. I'm a grown ass man. I don't fucking care. You care about your placement in this game and in this team. You care no, if people I disrespect really you. 
No. Yeah, you no, do wait, wait, Lenny, Lenny, I'm I asking. Got, I said I this and everybody knew it. Yeah. Everybody yeah. here. This is productive for the team. First off, by everyone getting louder, louder, let's go and put a target on our back. Let alone, we are a team. We got to walk together by us so fighting. Why are they no, hold, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Lenny, by never, us fighting I, within I, each other. I don't think she understood. I'm not going to do any good for us. They I don't think she understood. Whatever. It's in the past. Leave it in the past. Okay. How is it in the past if they were doing it like two minutes ago? Lenny, you don't understand. Lenny, that was a joke. I said that my chat was saying it. Don't like, worry about that. Okay. I'll, everybody's chat here saying something, bro. Beats takes Pigeon aside and calls Letty insecure. Team leader Double Duty tries to reassure Letty about her interactions with John and Beats. And I was the one that told John to bring you in. I He gave me the choice between you or the other lady. And I was like, bring Letty in. We Letty will be awesome. So trust me, you are safe. You don't have to worry. Well, I know that that's like your opinion. It's just like, and I know I can trust you. J Money is a Marine. I, I, like, I give two shits about the money. I ain't gonna let like backstab each other for subs and content bullshit. Well, what if they did it without <laughs> consulting you guys? I would, if they had he and I would both jump up and beat the hell out of I would just fuck him up real quick. <laughs> That's what you don't understand is three two, two, three of the most deadly people on this field are Lone Wolf, which he's my ride or die, the felon, he's my ride or die, J Money, and me. We're the three, three arguably of the most deadliest people yeah. in this comp. Mm-hmm. So if anybody fucks with us, i.e. in our own team, everybody knows the the, the guideline and the rule. Yeah. Work together till we get to the end, and then shake hands, fuck yeah, I'm proud of every single one of you, let's get it. And that's when, you know, you can go after somebody. And if at that point... You get someone in your chat that says a thousand dollars for you to kill double duty and you come up and you take me out. Fuck yeah, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I mean, I just have like one request, which is like if they come up and tell you that they're planning on killing me, I'm not gonna let them. Is anybody want with them? Yeah, would you, but, would but, you tell me so I yes. can leave? Yeah, but, I mean, I'll let you know. I, I wouldn't want you to leave. I'd probably confront them right there in front of everybody. Yeah, I, I'd yell at them in front of everybody. <laughs> It's just like, I, like, you know, I have been betrayed by John in the past, and like... Well, I've seen what you've done to John in the past, too, so... After <laughs> he betrayed me. Well, yeah, I mean, it goes both ways, but... I mean, it's just like, well, I just need to talk to him, because I thought we were friends or whatever, but then, like, people send me a clip of him saying, like, they only brought her on this show so she would have sex with me. <laughs> what? What? Who said that? John said that. Who, who sent you the clip of that? People I know. He said, I only, you only brought her on so they would have sex with you? No, he said they only brought me on so that he could, so that I would have sex with him. I'm the one that had the final say, lady, on you coming in. Not, not on this team. I'm not, he said that about no, the show. I'm, I'm talking about on the show. I'm the one that had the final say in that. I can show you the fucking Discord messages. Ice Poseidon? Ice Poseidon and John. Letty's more active. I think she'd be a good fit for our team for this reason, this reason, this reason, and this reason. Bring Letty on, and then we brought you into the team. That's why you were in the team before you even had your waiver sign. Yeah, I mean, it still doesn't change what was said, and like... I, know. I mean, and, and you I just, remember... I just, basically, I just would like if you guys didn't kill me and instead told me to leave if that was what the team temperature was i mean and, and we wouldn't let it get to that because then dissension happens and separation happens and then you're gonna have pigeon upset and going well if they backstabbed her they're gonna fucking come after me the marines scour the map for batteries as their phones are dying just one more time before attempting to rest Letty pulls John aside and questions why he, too, was picking on her behind her back, saying she was only there to have sex with him. Where have you been? I've been talking. I told him don't take anything personal. 
can we play this at you? See if they Um, no, I didn't even know about that. I was just trying to keep people not to hate you. Yeah, I mean, no, it was, uh... It was, uh, earlier around, like, 8.30 or 9, you said something like, um... The only reason they put her on the show is that... Oh. Yeah, shit. I was stupid, so... I'm sorry. You're a good camera. You're a good little camera. Yeah. <laughs>